We have a height to play by. Never mind. Yep, and we are live. We are live. Welcome, everybody, <laughs> to our second Halloween special. We we decided that we kind of cheated earlier in the day by playing a Halloween Halloweeny game when it was it still really didn't work out. So light outside. By the way, we're gonna have to redo that we, uh, entire we, thing. We screwed up on what we thought we could do. We were unaware that we didn't automatically archive the footage, so we'll have to replay that section uh, elsewhere, possibly on a uh, on another stream, which we'll do later. And, uh, alright, so, this is it, let's get the, uh, important things here. Subtitles, yes. You want the effect subtitles? Mm, I don't know if we need that. Yeah, well, hints, show death hints, show crosshair, we'll get in. Whatever commentary is, I don't want it on. We don't want it on. Subtitles we want on, because we definitely want to see what they're saying. Because this is kind of a quiet part of it. Okay, you ready? Ready. Now, so I, I, now I am a total new who's never played or watched an LP. Yeah, he's this. never seen any of this, so this will be new for him. I have seen gameplay from other YouTubers, and I have played a bit of it in the beginning. So I know I know beginning what to expect, but at this certain point, I'm going to get completely lost. So we'll be switching off every about half hour. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Or after, not every time we die. Every how many deaths do we will we hand off? I'll just say every half hour. All right. Because that gives us a fair even chance. Start a new game, yes we will. This auto saves too, by the way. I will tell you, and just keep in mind, this game get, does get really dark. Don't forget, some things must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My this seems promising. Is, what? Is, I am Daniel. What an opening, huh? Mm -hmm. um. Crouch, circle of valley's crouch. Uh, apparently, let's just stop and not move at all. Let's lean. Okay, okay. That helps. Let's lean. Oh, well, believe me, we'd be doing that a lot in this game. And probably to lean and look at peek around corners oh, and yeah. see what kind of BC is hiding. Yep. Suits of armor, I'm sure they won't come to life and try and kill us. Oh, this is a horror game, I wouldn't put it past it. Get ready for a bunch of jump scares, too. Hey there. Ah, there it is! The uh, R2 button is the one we need. That's the uh, interact button. There's nothing wrong with a uh, you with can a jump interact. scare if it's done you right. You can interact with anything, by the way. Stupid chip. Oh, 
Like I said, you can interact with everything. By the way, we're making a lot of noise. I've never played this game, but I can already tell it's probably a bad idea. We don't really have a lot. Of... We don't really have to worry too much in the beginning of this game, I don't think. I remember. By the way, we're doing this because we're trying to, at least part of the reason why we're on Twitch is because we're testing it out in the beginning. This is only the second time we stream something on Twitch and we want to get used to how it works. Oh yeah. What is happening? You have to worry about your insanity meter. So where is the sanity meter? <coughs> Health. Your sanity meter. The more insane you are, the worse it could be for everybody involved. So what happens with higher? So what? Basically, so what happens with higher with higher insanity? Because the more insane you get, the easier it is for the creatures to find you, which is never a good thing because they can want to kill you most of the time. Because I, sanity does different things in different games. It's it's not that hard to regain it or to keep sanity. It's not going to affect us this early on because it's not going to be that cheap. At least I don't remember if they are. San you regain sanity by being you by make, being basically in light area, lit areas. Yeah, pretty much. And there's certain parts that we that heal it faster than anything else. Oh. My favorite use of a sanity meter will always, even though I've never played the game, from everything I've heard about, will always be Eternal Darkness. Yeah, because it really messes stuff up in that. I like the idea that the sanity meter in that game doesn't mess with the player, I mean the character, it messes with you. Um, um, we have a limited amount of tinder boxes, so don't waste them if you don't need to. Same thing with what we're going to have when we get a lantern, we're going to need oil for it, so don't waste that. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is about a couple seconds. Actually, it's eight seconds behind us. I don't like the looks of this at all. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm thirsty. Your sanity is probably decreasing right about now. Yeah. So we don't have anywhere to put a light, the light, the light. Have fun with this game. Oh, wait. The boxes. It's always useful. Oh, they keep going forward. The, the lantern, you really have to uh, pay attention to your oil on. Not only that, but you have to be careful when and when and when not to use it because you can't get picked up by other. So you have the tinder boxes if you need to, because uh, the lantern makes it easier for your enemies to spot you. It also helps you to keep staying somewhat sane, especially in these dark and darkened areas. How's our sanity now? It's gonna get. It's gonna do that. We're just gonna get completely nuts before the uh, game even starts. What? 
was supposed to get pretty much completely nuts before the game starts. Which will then automatically fix itself. Alright, I'm trusting you here. At least that's how I played it last time. We start, we start clawing at the walls and chewing at our arms before the game even starts and there's no way to fix it. I'm blaming you. Well... Nineteenth of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both. No, I'm sorry. You want to hear us there? Yeah. There you go. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder. Your former, former self, Dan. Well, we already know that we're playing as somebody named Daniel. There's, well, there's, a, there's a light in here. Make sure there's nothing important in here. We could actually use. some oil into there. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Um... A fleshy wall. Oh. Well, there's gonna be something... That's never promising! No, by the way, L2 is to run, by the way, which you're gonna get used to a lot in this game. Just telling you right now. I'll be right back, I'm gonna go grab a drink. That all of us can drink directly from a... Uh... Two liter? Yes. Oh, oil! I have a feeling you'd frown on me if I poured some of the two liter into a cup. Uh, if you don't mind my germs, I wouldn't say anything. This is why I won't do it, because you're drinking directly from Fair enough, you wimp. Good. 
Yes, and we will play this for anywhere from two to three to maybe four hours, depending on how long we can, we personally can stay sane. <laughs> Alright. So, you know, she'll open up the inventory as your touchpad. I'll tell you this now in case I forget later. Yeah. In case you get a case of amnesia. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. And pull on that little bar there. Oil. Is and the then oil. the other one above it is tinder boxes. It's the tinder boxes. Do not use those unless we absolutely have to. Try and avoid using either one. Uh, if you need to, I prefer to try and keep four tinder boxes as a reserve. Alright. And at least half an oil. So essentially, only if you really need to light shit up. And why am I saying how long we can stay sane? We're not, we weren't sane to begin with. <laughs> It'd be interesting which one of us um, start. We missed something there. Uh, Somebody's screaming. It'll be interesting to see which one of us starts freaking out first. That's true. Laboratory or. Let me see what's down the steps. Well, we need to get the key, so let's go. Let me say a lo laboratory? Laboratory. A laboratory in a freaky castle place. You missed the other part. I tried leaving out the big exit door to the big entrance doors, and fleshy thing came up. That doesn't bode well. No, no, it doesn't. I. Personally, I'd bet if if one of us is gonna start freaking out and go, getting unhinged, I'd bet on, on it being me first. But I'd laugh if it was you. Oh, I'm out here. What? What the fuck was that? What were you saying? I bet it'd be. Uh, I, I I guarantee you, I'm already unhinged. So. Anyone who's watching, you can, you, if you want, you can take bets on which one of us is gonna. Okay, okay. <laughs> Lack of a chimney to properly prevent the fumes from rushing the expense, to dull metal stable ingredients. So we gotta get the key to the wine cellar. Why did it shake like that? Okay then. Compounds, I like the potency I need. You can read this too, you know. I know, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and Orpiment are or given, and, and the Cuprite finds them well. This time I will attempt Aqua Regia instead of Aqua Fortis and hope, it'll, and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put any except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Well then. Let me see, let me see. And one part aqua force. A key, anything resembling a key? Not yet. Oh, wait. Get out of the way. One day I would turn, and if it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them, they lust for power without restraint. Well, I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Um... 
that's what that does. Oh. Tinderbox. Tinderbox! You'll be hearing that a lot from us. Ooh, Tinderbox! Nothing. X's jump, by the way, in case you're trying to figure out. I'm a bunny! I'm a bunny! Where is that dang key? There's another door down here that we can see? Might be. Oh, there's that way we can check out? Let's check that out. Um, um. You might want to check your uh, sanity meter. Uh, I have a slight headache. I'm fine. I'm ahead. to be in here. Does it? I don't know. This is the only one I first room I checked. Do you want to take over? Wait. Wait. There it is. I just checked this one out. I think it's only 10 bucks. Huh? It's only 10 bucks. Fuck you, chair. You received me. Excuse me for the last time. You know, we should probably, we could probably switch up every 20 minutes. Does that sound even fair to you? You just want to hand it off so you don't have to do this part. No, I just want to hand it off because I think it's better if it's your turn. Yep, turn. Ugh. But square is the lantern. L2 is to run. R2 is to pick shit up or to interact with anything. R2. You can rotate it around with the. Um... With what? Just use the L, uh, just use the uh, R stick to rotate. Uh, no, dub. That, 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 to rotate. The D pad to rotate. L1 throw, throws that shit. Alright. That's the one that had the sticky crap down the bottom of it, remember? You hold the door and you pull towards you. From the old button. You're gonna, you're gonna start throwing off by the fact that you have to hold R2 now, don't you? Yeah. To keep you. The uh, circle button is to crouch, which we'll be using pretty much a lot of this game. Did I check down here? There was nothing else down. Oh wait, dinner box. I did miss something. Huh? Screw box. I'll be all thing now. Do you like books? No, I hate them. Whoosh. Screw boxers. And chairs. And definitely bugs. Chair mode activate. Boop. Should 
Try up the stash. Up what stash? Those stash. See if there's anything up there we can go into. get too used to the fact that X is not the button you want to hit. You should probably keep your finger off the X button and more on the square and circle button. Just saying. Okay. I don't want to burst me here. Remember, you do have a lantern if you need it. Just be careful really for uh, much if you don't use it too much. You can get, uh, if we get, uh, run out of oil, we'll really be screwed later on. Just hold, oh, it's the R button. Use the R stick to do it. Um, you definitely hit the, light the candles because we're suddenly getting infected by it and it's insanity. Light it. How do you do that? Same button you use everything else. You use on everything else. If you start seeing that waviness thing, that's a bad sign. That means we're getting more and more affected by, by issues that affect our sanity. And uh, look at this anything in there. It would be blatantly obvious there was something in there. By the way, that's the one thing that we'll see about this game. Is it tells you what you need. I thought I saw something on the bookshelf though. Turn around. Over there. I thought I saw something over here. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brennenberg. The contract will reign for a total of three years, but my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenberg is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm Helm, House of Garrick. I think we came in that way. Show this one. Um, I'm not hearing that. Yes, you, you not. Nope. I'm surprised that the thing that's chasing us hasn't shown up yet. It's trying to get you comfortable into the game first, I think. So, yeah. Oh, ladder. 16 May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Late. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach ah. the burial chamber. No matter what. Oh my the God! I gotta go make a new Christmas mistake. Triangle is the it goes really to the general. About a note. Oh no, oh, that's it. Back. Okay, oh, you're over clicking too much. Later that evening, we covered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way, late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. And no matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take to London and the British Museum. Okay, then. 
Yeah, that's all we need for us. See what we get. No offense. Uh, yeah, it would kind of be cheap if the uh, if whatever the thing if that shadow thing came after us when we we're trying to puzzle solve or look for something. It will. There's nothing. If it doesn't have a blue tinge to it, it's nothing that needs to really matter unless you really just want to keep throwing books around. You well, I'm throwing books around because there might be something behind the books. Oh, see, that's, that's thinking. Get used to that. It'll be a lot of shit like that. They usually hide stupid shit in those pot, little pot spots. Uh, I'm assuming it's the other door. By the way, I'm gonna. Ah! Candles. We don't really need to. Don't waste them. It gets harder to find them later. Slay Hag. We said we have the. These I am gonna like. This one, yeah. Just like the one. Um, no, you. There you go. Put the lamp down. Ah. Oh. Uh, Someone tells me you shouldn't have touched that. Don't. We already have the one lit. You missed the door, and they're right back there. Leave the ferretes. Yeah, well, I think we might need to go in there. Can you get in there? Turn around. Turn the light on. Get a light on. Get a light on. You creeped out yet? Yes. Hey, wait, wait. What's that? What's below you? Look down. There might be a chest we can open. How do I know? That's how I know. Oh, we got oil. Oil's always a good thing to pick up. Are you getting freaked out yet? Yeah, I've been to this part already. How how long do how long before I have to worry about the thing coming after me? Uh, I don't remember. There's something in there. I think it's a t uh, dinner box again. How many do we have? Uh, do if we don't need to use them, we don't use them. Well, there's nothing in here. I thought we came in here for nothing. Well, we did get the oil, so that's important. Uh, studio. How about, should I light this? Yeah, yes. we got nine of them. That didn't sound good. You won't always have time to angle it perfectly. So if you get close enough to it, they'll, they'll give you leeway on that. Check the door. Well, that was locked. Let's go forward then. Local history. Okay. Oh god. What? I think we're gonna be going into hell soon. Why is that? Because this might be the part that's not fun. Check the whole room out. That didn't sound pretty. Thankfully, the first time it chases you, it shouldn't be. This game is relentless. Yeah, but they want... There's an opening down there. Let's see what's on the other side. No, what I mean is the first time it chases you, they're trying to teach you to... It'll be trying to teach you to run, uh, hide, run or hide. But it's relentless. It won't stop. Um... Go through the pick a door. Go through there. Is that oil over there? It is oil. That'll be useful. I'll tell you right now. The fact that I'm holding the controller is making me get freaked out even more. <laughs> Simply because I'm afraid of messing up, shall we say? Um, I should also mention we're going to die more than once in this game. 
I know. Uh, I was expecting that. Straight. I put the I put the oil on. Oh wait, no, there it goes. Put that. That'd be helpful. Yeah, we only pay for the repeat. As long as you don't open every use every single fucking one, I don't think there's anything we need. Wow. Are you talking about me? Nope, nothing. Nothing in there. Well, shit. Uh, maps. Let, let's check this out. Um. That's what that was. It didn't sound good. Um, light, 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 light. Told you, every time you start seeing things get fuzzy, you might want to find somewhere to get light. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel the need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men yes. and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They Four minutes, you're taking over. And I felt their strange no. language getting to me. I mustered no. my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues hey, unlike any that. I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Should I light it or just use the... Uh, well, we have a limited how much oil we can find. And we've been finding tinder boxes all over the place, so... Just remember, try not to use any more than you have to. That just made up for the one I used. Oh. My chip broke. Kingdom of Prussia. Central Prussia. We should stop that real now. Well, let's go find out what the fucking hell that happened back there. Nope, go back. What else the fucking happened back there? Well, shit! So whatever was on the other side, we lost forever. It happens. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Now, I will ask, does the shadow work like the alien from uh, Isolation, where if you make noise, it might come after you, even if it's n even if you don't see it right at, the, right at that moment? You'll hear. By the way. Yeah. You'll see it before you... They'll give you a chance to see it. Hang on. I need to do something. What? I need to change something on this. I'm tired of that weak sensitivity. Get ready for it. It's going to be super sharp, by the way. 
See how fast it's doing? Yeah. I have to have it at high, uh, the highness. Unless you want to die a lot. Oh, no. I'm just I'm still used to being able to rotate really fast. Did we check this already? Yeah. I did. Oh, it's a, yeah. Fragile but not breakable by hand. I think I just broke it by hand. You have to be swift when you activate oh, the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. What? Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Shit, what? This is a timed puzzle. Exactly, you're supposed to do with this part for this part. This is what to tell me. Allstadt and Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Allstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbors, Castle Brandenburg, neighbor Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as ex exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The gatherers. Do you really want to read all these? Yes, I do. Okay. And by the way... And by the way, if one of us is dying repeatedly, we are going to hand it off in case to see if the other one can get through. Fair enough. But then, you know. But then, it, but then the moment if we do that, the moment the, the moment you get past that part, you hand it back until it's your time to switch. Fair enough. The sto this story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War, one of my favorite uh, time periods in history. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living, cre steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside deep Damp burlap sacks drag behind them with to reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? By the way, is the shadow the only thing you have to worry about? Let me let me tell you this. It's not the shadow that you should be afraid of. It's everything the shadow spawns you should be afraid of. Ah. I I can't spoil something for you. I ho I ho I so hope you get to the one part that I want you to, that I want us to get to. We're gonna beat the game eventually. Yeah, but I want to get. To, I want you to be at the. I want you to get to the part that I want to that I want to happen at. We're gonna be, get through the whole game, so we're gonna get to it. But I want you to be in control when we get there. Is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I do, but that depends on wh whose turn it Keep is. Keep reading. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for rem remnants of the kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy Hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Ooh. Baron? The immortal Baron! The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alstadt, and like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited among, alongside with the title. 
Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role of protect, as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago. Loved through, through, the, time, the, lived through the time of occupation and pointed the covet and Enjoy the covenant of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Yes. Ooh. Indeed. Shut up, Chris. Nobody likes you. <laughs> That's a reference. Ten points! Shut, shut up, Chris. Nobody likes you. That is, a, is that a reference to the game that is now lost? Time and space? Yes. Um, that should... I shot it over top of it. That was awesome. Ready? Let's do the game. Okay. I guess I'm done with that. Let's see. A book that looks different from the other books. You're not alone. So, it will pause during this stuff. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. Human vessels? <laughs> the sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my tr trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first. They can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be in a sense it would in a sense solve both of my problems. Were you as worried as I am? Yes. I have a feeling there will be things waiting for us in that cellar. By the way. What? You can't see me. No! I so I suppose that if the shadow... That the... the now. Does the shadow check hiding spots or not? Or do, do the creatures check hiding spots or not? Not really. At least I don't think so. That is always annoying. I don't believe they do. Makes sense that they would. But especially they... if the creature in question is supposed to be intelligent. Uh... But that doesn't make it any less annoying. Mm. Well, the question is, how do we get back? What? Don't you recognize this place? Oh, yeah. Studium. It won't budge. That's not good! Uh, I told you you'd hear him first. That sound you're going to be hearing a lot throughout this game. Get used to it. I'm assuming you're not alone anymore. What am I? What are you looking for to know if you? You'll spotted? know if you see. Oh God! What you saw it? No, I think I did. Okay. 
I know. You're getting freaked out now. No, I'm getting worried because I don't want to die this early. Mommy! I think it saw the light. Shit. Okay. You have a slight headache. <laughs> I have no idea which way I'm supposed to go. By the way, it will break down doors. I should warn you that. Does it do it instantly or does it take time? You'll know it when it has it. No, but... Will, will closing a door in its face delay it or...? Yes. Not for very long. How long would you estimate it... Uh, how much no. time do you think it'll, it'll buy you? Shit. Uh, I don't know. It should theoretically stall it long enough. I did not expect the... the thing stalking you throughout the whole game to be defeated by a simple door. of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. You said it's awake? I think it's awake now. What? What's awake? Your worst nightmare. Funny, but... What's the end, Tom? What's the end, Tom? Bye. I'm assuming it can't follow you from one area to the other. I don't think so. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Um. That just hurt you. Something's hurting you. I shouldn't stand on that. All is good. I may be going slightly insane. I'm gonna go get a drink before it becomes my turn. Yeah, you better do that. I'm gonna go to the wine cellar. Get drunk! God, I might need that right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's gonna go to the wine cellar and get drunk because he's gonna need it? <laughs> Here we go for the one. Oh yeah, I forgot. You gotta do that manually too. Unlock the door. Yep. You basically have to go to your inventory, grab what, the key, and put it on it itself.
Darren go. Who cares? By the way, this is very useful. Why in the last of us a lifetime? Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> You're not alone. I'm out of here, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to. Oh, come on, Val. And, uh, you want some wine? Nice, a nice wine spell. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I don't think we can go that way. No. Ouch! Smack me in the face. Close that door. No, I didn't. Is that a bow? No, it's a saw. Is it better? Yeah! Do you think there's enough booze here, though? I think it all been done drunk. Probably. Oh, well, they have three minutes till she has time. Unless the thing starts chasing you before that. We're not handing it over if you're in the middle of getting chased. There we go. No, because that makes little sense. If you're in the middle of getting chased when you get if Oil! I think you're carrying some oil. No. I have some oil, but I just use it. Those are very useful if we find them and we have no oil. But what I was going to say is, uh... If we're in the middle of getting chased when it's our turn to switch, as soon as you get away from it, you switch. Sound fair? I just got hit in the face. And the game's lagging, I mean that, by the way. I'm not kidding. The game's literally lagging it. <laughs> you might have to... I just hit it in the face, too, by the way. Are we gonna have to quit and reload it? No. Nope, that's what's gonna happen. I do apologize if that was a little slow for you guys too. That's not good! Tinderbox, 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 you gotta light something! We have enough oil, just last this a little bit. Risk it. It's enough. Um, I uh, guess what? What? Ah, great. <laughs> now I get to sit back and relax. Become less insane. That's why I said switch off over 20. Gives, us the, gives the other player a chance to rest. How insane were you getting over there? Not very. Just be careful because we don't want uh, to I have a lot of oil, but I don't want to use all of it here. So if you don't need to... I'd rather... Too much. Yeah, but it has it creates an area of lit a lit area that I can retreat to. A teeny tiny fucking area. Check how much oil we have in our lantern. It's 
the bow in the left. Wait, wait. Don't don't put it in if we don't need to. There's a chest right there. My chest is going to burst. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Retreat to to regain sanity when needed. We won't really regain it, it'll just stop from dropping super fast. We might regain it up to the next level. Lay it, oil it, lay it in. Pretty much the only time not to have a lantern and not to have the lantern in use is when you know you're being stop, chased. Stop, stop, turn to your left, 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 right there. On the floor. My name is Wilhelm. House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle of Brandenburg. As most of the aristocracy, aristocracy, I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order would want from me, and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid. Uh, the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past, and not the honors I'd be I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon the slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but came swiftly and I accepted it wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Brennenberg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we ascended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming, and their skin has pierced, been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer. <laughs> Make sure you people watching or paying attention, if you are watching. I think it was it. Um. Head towards the light. Hey, Blinded towards by the light. The light. I was gonna go with head towards the light, the light, the freedom. We may have to go back in the. Uh, we have all the ingredients we needed. Check to see what some shit we got. We have the cuprite. We have cuprite, chemistry pot, calamine, and aqua regia. We're missing one. Are we? I thought so. This good. What does that note that? Check the journal, find that note. There should be a note in there. Uh, early, uh, give me experiment. Yeah, we need opera, uh, opera men. Opry men. Thing that happens is my controller decides to die while we're being changed. It would automatically pause it. But that would be still suck. You may want to put the uh... This? 
Yes. So where Check haven't we gone yet? Check the little map on the wall over there. Where haven't we been yet? That's a good question. I don't know. We find in the tool area, right? The tool area? Yeah, I believe so. Of you, oh, that's not the right way, I don't think. This is Let's check that area. one. Check that one, because I don't think we got into that one yet. Can you open it? No. Check go to the left, because I thought I saw a door down the left too. Close your lantern. Shut your lantern off. Go through the door. You have to go through the door. You have no choice. Without hitting yourself in the face! Why well, are you shutting the door like that? Like that. Light. Light it. Light it. Light it. If you need to lean around the edge, God knows whether. How do I lean? It's L1. Or R1. Left and right strafing. Go over there and check that out. That, look on the floor. I think there's something up this rack, never mind. Should I light that? No, keep going. You may want to stop crouching too. Why? Just stop crouching at the moment. Yeah, pick that up now. You might be able to light that thing now. How much do we got? Six? You got six. Should I light it? No, don't light it. <laughs> Ow. I crouch. I just crushed my balls in there. Uh, that's the... Go through that door. Go through that door. Go through the door. Go through the door. Go through the door. We're gonna have to light something. Light that one. You said you'll hear it before you see it. Usually you will. Move that barrel Which in front barrel? of the door. I'll pick that too. Oh, my ball. Oh, this barrel? Turn that barrel, yeah. Move that barrel. Move it slowly. Just throw it. I'll try to open the door. Okay, here's a quick escape. Theoretically. Mommy. Should I light this? No. You have an oil lamp right now. Grab that and grab the uh offer mat. Oh the, the, grab the tinder box up there. <sighs> now we leave this area. And you may want to be careful with that oil lamp because you may be getting having to deal with other ugly enemies in a second now. the steps and you just do not pass go and click down to just get the fuck out of there. Stop hitting the X to leave! <laughs> so I I know sooner or later you come across the thing. And you'll recognize it when you see it as a thing you must run the fuck away from. Run! 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 I'm trying. R1, remember? It's L2. You need to go back to the, liber uh, the laboratory. R1 is to prevent, uh, is the lean. L2 is the spring. L1 is the button you use to throw shit. Which won't do much good unless you're trying to get shit with a cat. 
This is the lab. This should be the lab. It said laboratory, didn't it? Or did we go back to the wine cellar? I hope we didn't go back to the wine cellar. That was I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave and make sure. Well, because it was across the way you went. It should have been it. It looks similar though. So. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave and exit, just to be sure. check the mementos so it tells me. Should we go into the lab to mix the thing? Cause remember the thing I had to do, uh, I found in the laboratory? Yeah. That looked like a weird little thingy? Yeah. That's where we need to go. I just don't know where the hell it's at. Mementos isn't going to tell much much. But yeah. So we got to make the goddamn acid. Torches stay lit. Yep. Well, I think it's to your right. No, it's to my left. To your right. Because that's the thing right there. Now, how do I. Well, you gotta put the shit in the thing first. So, it should be calamine. Calamine first. It does it automatically. Well, that works too. Let's just put them all in. That's not gonna bode well. Turn the burners. They need to put the uh, chemistry pot there. Maybe there's a chemistry pot attached to it. Now remember the order it told you in? Should have been calamine. Although I don't know if that really matters. what happens. So how do I get out? Uh, try behind you. I think I saw a memento. No. Oh my god. I think you have to build it with the fucking boxes. Don't quote me though. I could be wrong. I think that's what you're supposed to do is build the damn thing with the boxes. So how long do you want? Do you think we should play this for? I don't know. Are you having fun yet? Fun it, is an operative term. It's it, it's a fun game, except for the fact that it's oh my god, what the fuck is going on? It, it's not a game you can just sit down and play for hours on end. No, no, it's not. It's n like Are you getting scared already. I. Uh, Yes. <laughs> You're not? No, because I've been through this part. 
I know, I know some of them, uh, again, I've seen YouTubers play this, and I knew some of what goes on. Don't, I don't remember how to actually get up there, don't. So don't ask me that. I think you're supposed to pile the boxes up and jump on them. Or that. Something. You can actually pile the boxes up like Jenga. You know. That's why they probably give you so much shit to pile up. Wow, you're very bad at building shit. Are you having fun? Now that you mention it, no. <laughs> Someone's a scaredy cat. Oh, it's all Jenna. It's not that I'm... It's not that... At the moment, it's not scared. It's getting frustrated. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I put that... You have more boxes, you know. I think the... I do have more boxes. I'd use more boxes. You also have barrels, too. Maybe the barrels will help. No! No! I don't Jenga! Know. <laughs> Jenga! <laughs> I feel some sanity returning. <laughs> Yeah. Do Don't worry, it? the the creature or whatever it is will show up and then all the sanity will leave us again. No sanity, we haven't had anything. Try and set it on that back over here. Right. Ah, um, the box jumped on you. Nope, 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 that's what you have. Hey, hey. You gotta jump in the lower corner of it. Oh, you do that. Jump on the box. No. I think I actually can get it if I am not being incompetent. Let's try to jump on that thingy. Jump on the little, jump on the little uh, broken part of it. Yeah, that. See if it will work. Yeah. See, that's what I was trying to tell you to do. But I don't think you understood that part. I think Two I'm gonna, minutes and then it's your turn. I think I'm gonna be the one who gets stuck with it. Yes. Mm. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it an hour and uh, almost an hour and a half into this game, and we haven't seen the damn creature yet. Let's get the fuck out of there. Ah! I'm pressing L2. Go down. It's, yeah, that way. Left, left, left. Are there certain areas it can't, the creature can't go into? Nope. It goes everywhere you can. You gotta hit the touchpad to bring up the inventory, you gotta click on the item, and then you gotta put it in like you do everything. Hey, I got a trophy! Yeah, that actually shows up on the thing, and then it gets locked out. Nope, it blocks out. I'll do it. That's the system itself, then. Yeah, if we're you know, getting... It's only gonna happen that just as you reach it, just just before you get there, you have to hand it to me. In fact, it might as well, I might as well just hand it to you yeah, now. You might as well just hand it to me now. I'm gonna play it upside down. Attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. I think I could use some of the foil we have now. Now I have to refill my sanity meter.
How far in did you get? We're almost there. So then you're gonna start. Oh shit! There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just met the creature that I told you about. That's when you're gonna start freaking out. Oh no. It's us. What? I'm shaking here. He'll never find me. He'll never find me. We're down to four, by the way. I had to use a couple of those. What the fuck is this room? So now let's, let's not use them until we get another one. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found Okay. I didn't realize it would automatically do it. I found my journal this morning and it has a collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to reassemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together as if they weren't for the, from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Maybe Daniel's going crazy. Hee 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 Fleshy stuff is beating. She is just not crazy? No, I don't I'm see not. nothing. That's, it's pulsating. Oh. <laughs> is it dangerously low? Take a look. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So don't spend any more time in the dark. Don't spend any time that we don't have to in the dark. Light up that torch. You just got a whole bunch of tinder boxes. Gentlemen, I think my uh, co-host has officially cracked. <laughs> Protect me, Box. <laughs> no, I will not. Leave me alone. <laughs> Box, why you leave me? I am not Box. I am monster. <laughs> You're not as scary as a creature. Once you see what the creature looks like, you'll be like, what the fuck is this shit? What the hell?
there it is. I think you just got back some sanity. Okay, good luck. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we descend into hell? I wouldn't be surprised if we were literally descending deeper and deeper. Hi. How are you doing today? Did that, did those, that thing have eyes? No. Although it is killing us. Oh! We're free! I think. That was bad. I just caught a reference to Bioshock in them. What did it say? Um. Oh, god damn it! What? This is the part I wanted you to do. Of course. Would you? No, you want to see why I wanted you to do it? Yes. I'll show you. But it basically, is the damp of the Atlantic was basically threatening to smother him, all that shit. Yeah. You know how the beginning of Bioshock happens? You're in a plane crash. Ah. In the middle of the ocean. Let me use the restroom and I'll be right back. Yeah, you may want to. <laughs> you may want to uh, drain the uh, the troll there. This is yeah. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think we're doing? You still think we're playing until dawn? Nope. Though, the, given an hour or two, you might actually be beg. You might actually be like, "Why are we not playing until dawn?" Oh no. As weird as, weird as this game is, as weird as this game is, hurry up, man! Yeah. Hurry up! We cost you me time. I'm handing it to you at an hour and forty. Okay. Would you just... like to know why I want you to do this part? Why? Let me show you. That's why! What is that? Have you ever played the game, uh... The floor is lava? Yes, the floor is lava. Oh my god! So basically, if you step in the water... If you step in the water, that thing will hunt you down and eat you. But it can't come out of the water. I don't know if this is on a timer. By the way, we will switch either when the, uh... What the shit?! <laughs> By the way, I have no idea which way I'm going. <sighs> and by the way, we will switch either when 40 minutes... Shit! 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 Holy crap! <laughs> As I was saying, we'll switch when it's one minute, one one hour and forty minutes, or when you have beaten this puzzle, whichever comes last. Whichever comes last? Yes. Unless you die after one minute and forty seconds. If you die after Ah uh, shit! What? I have to run all the way back. I literally have to sprint all the way there. Fuck this! I hear it right behind you! Oh, 
<laughs> By the way, oh my God. you know where he's standing, right? Where? Right in front of me. How can uh, you tell he's right in front of you? Because it's where he stopped. Ah! Look at that. By the way, huh. by the way, what I was going to say is, uh, Tommy? wait a minute, I got an idea. Is, is there any, have you ever played a game that legitimately scared the crap out of you? Maybe besides this one? Is, that, is it doing that right now? <laughs> dude, dude, watch, I can actually be able to distract them. You can! You can distract it. That would be useful. Oh. 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 I gotta get him to that corner though. So I just kinda wasted my wait, wait, this one. Gotta get him to that corner! Da, 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 da. Oh. Close. He's, he's, he's not close behind you. No. But I just fucked up. Oh, it's the wrong way. Shit. Lot of is good for hell. Is there anything you could take for uh, sanity? For some sanity. Shit! 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 Hey, it's uh, a headache. She gets some bruises. Uh, <sighs> oh, yeah. Two. Three. You stuck! Da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh God, God, God. God. He's eating you! He's eating you! Fuck! 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 Fuck you, sideways! That's it. Ah. Ah. Well, no shit, Sherlock. You want to go at it? No. You get one more try. <laughs> if you die on the, I know how to beat this. It's hard to do. If you get one more try, if you if you die this time. Fuck balls. No. If you die after the one minute forty, or the one hour forty, then I take over. Is that a deal? Shit. He's right in front of you, too. Oh. No. Ah! You have to time to jump in. I'm there! Go! 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 Jump! Jump! Oof. Is he in here with you? Yes, he is! What's well, oh. a different one? Oh. And it's right the fuck in front of you. No, it's not. Eat that! I don't think I want to do that. Shit! What? It's actually eating it. Why are you staying there? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, little boy? You hungry? You wish him. You wish him? You wish him? Go fetch. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. 
Woof! Why don't you fall in the water? By the way... Oh god, I didn't know how to open this shit. By the way, you do realize these are body parts, don't you? Yes, they do. Told you that you go through doors? Yeah. You see that? What? That's a hole in the door! Oh wow, yeah. I think there's another one in here with you. Please tell me you're not chasing me. No, I think you went after the other thing. He's gonna break through the door. Shit! Yes, he is! I would like to point out that the first death was you. I know. I also told you, I knew I was gonna, I had a, I had a feeling I wasn't gonna make that. I knew I saw, when you see that screen gets red, that's basically the universal sign of, oh my god, you're going to die soon if you don't get anything. Check our health, all health is fine. Don't use it unless we absolutely have to. A slight headache. Our sanity's fine. If you need to, oh god. What? I don't think there's any in here. Um, what? No. Um. He wants to make friends with you. It's like, give me a hug. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna pause just in case something comes after me while I'm talking. Uh. I think we should go for two hours or two and a half, just so that we give ourselves enough. Scariness in here? No, just so that we. We can all calm down with some nice other games or stuff <laughs> before uh, we all have to go right. home. Huh? Before we all have to go home and sleep. Uh, yeah. So you don't want to be scared by monsters that run, uh, by shadow creatures that run in the water that you didn't even fucking see until they decide to eat your ass. <laughs> well, I tend to with scare. I do this with scary movies. I tend scary movies or scary games. I tend to like like to do something to. Uh, wind down after I get myself excited, oh. both because both because I can freak myself out afterwards and because it helps get the adrenaline out of your system because you're not going to fucking sleep anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I was thinking we're going to end it in, after, you, after this time for you, we'll end it. You'll be the last one. Just fucking run! Did not pass go! 
did not collect two hundred dollars. It's angry. You need to go as fast as you can. Run, motherfucker, run! Close the door! Close the door! I'm trying! Look! Close the door! Get in there, close the gun and door! I need to close the door! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Escaped for the first time. What is this? It was to go this alley. I don't think so. Yes. Uh, th th he might have crystal clear sanity. I don't know. Let's <laughs> <know. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> be fun to play back though. It's like fucking run. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Do not stop on the. There is no jail. Just run. Or, you know, we tell you know what we totally have to do. What we have to we totally have to play this with Danny and Bo here one oh time. Oh my God, yes, that's actually a great plan. We should do it the next the next Saturday we have available unless they're available another day. Yeah. Well, Bo Danny can be available pretty much any day during the week. Bo is the one that's difficult. It's true. Although us playing with this with Danny would be funny all, all in itself, because she'd be like, "What the hell is this?" Well, well, horror games are Danny's jam. You know what would happen though if we, if if she were to join us though, what? she would have to participate. Uh, we're not going that way yet. Go straight. She gets, she may or may not want to play herself. What the fuck is with that pool? She may prefer to just watch. She sometimes gets nervous playing games in front of other people. This could sound like we're just playing it like we're friends, like normal. No, That's like, we do anyway. no, in, no, in front of us, Come she'd on. get nervous. Because I can actually tell you why, too. Not like we judge her. I can tell you why she gets nervous playing games in front of other people. Why? Chewy. I'm good. Because when we would go over to Chewie's house and play, and she would play her games over there, Chewie would backseat drive. Alright. Here's what it is. When I would do it here with you, they'd just be like, I don't think we want to go that way. See, but Chewie would, Chewie, uh, Danny hates backseat drivers. She hates when you're yelling at her or telling her what to do in a game unless she's asked for the advice. And, uh, and Chewie would just do it all the effing time. Yeah, I would do it and I thought, look, maybe I'll go right. It's different. Mine's more, mine's try, mine's more of a suggestion, except for that part where I'm like, just fucking run. Because, you know, that, that should be kind of obvious to just run. Where do we want to go? Memento! Nothing. Whatever you want to go. I think we're going to go to the study. Let's check out the guest room, maybe? Can we go in the study? Well, let's go. So we each died once. Yep. Told you, we're going to die a lot in this game. We haven't even gotten to the worst creature yet. What's that? Or do you not want to spoil? I don't want to spoil it. 
No, I can see the worst creature. Yeah, that's the best problem. All right, we gotta find something to light. We need to figure out what we're gonna play after this. We're not gonna stream another stream. Oh no, 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 no. You guys have had enough of us today. I think I know what we should play next. Uh, what? Eight. Well, well I was thinking eight or more Mountain Blade. That's true. We could do that. I hope there's nothing in that case. <laughs> I think like I think like we were yeah I I was thinking more mountain blade. Ah, uh, we'll find out. <clears throat> it's gonna get to the point. It's kind of boring though. Oh wait, there's the oil. Um. Yeah, like, fuck that. I'm out of here. Bye. moment yes it is a, it may be a bit boring but we kind of want to get through the boring part that's true well it beat somebody protect me chair oh look there's something there what is this <clears throat> to my most trusted student and friend Johan Vehr the most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last twenty odd years. It is inexplicable as <coughs> it is as inexplicable as the Heliodromos described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as if it was as it was told it was as about. It was told about. An underground Mithraic temple, crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. This color washed to a witch. What the fuck does that mean? Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. Time paradox? I was staying in a nearby village called Aldstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these en enigmatic artifacts they revealed. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, <clears throat> and it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and I fetched the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as I closed in. The beast, the guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. Well, that doesn't sound good. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in a lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the <coughs> lake surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. Passed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance then joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lie awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. Because you suck. Last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Well then. Um. 
That explains a lot. Explains a lot while also explaining nothing. That's what this game does. Explains nothing but explains everything. Specifically, remember what they said about Heinrich. Well, he, 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 was never, he was never there. But he was. And the person who was supposedly Heinrich disappeared. It's because it was him. But then he disappeared, never to be seen again. But we, but Heinrich <laughs> is known never to have died to ten years ago. We didn't want to admit ten to years later. Uh, you may want to be careful. I have Why? no idea what's going on. Uh, looks like there was a bloody hammer. I'm a little worried about this place. Canis lupus familiaris. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy, since it, the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable a re any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that only augments their experience of terror. Um, okay, this guy, whoever this guy is, fucking. He's messing up, man. Well, because of the fact that he was experimenting on dogs. Not only that, but just plain, <laughs> these experiments are fucked up. There's a birdie. Let's see what you have to offer. Thankfully, you usually don't get attacked during these. Uh, uh, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. Um, what? We'll get him. Let's move on. It's not really dark in here, so I'm not lighting anything. No. Nope. Check the drawers, though. Oh, ten bucks. I'm sure everyone has uh, human okay. skulls. I'm sure everyone has human skulls in the, in, the, in the thing. Anatomy Frontiers. Like 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. <clears throat> the antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life in its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the, sus on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they will pr 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 blah, 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 prove less of a hassle to acquire. See, is, is there anything in the, in the mementos that tells us what the fuck is doing it? I think we're just exploring now, hoping to get rid of and eat my shit. All is good. At least we're not dying. We're good. Maybe we're not dying because we're already dead. Seriously, I would not be surprised if that was the twist of this game. Nope. You wouldn't either? No, that's not the twist. I know, but... Would you be surprised if it was? Oh, we can't go that way. I guess we learned everything we needed to here. Yeah. Let's just leave. Yeah, 
It's, you can run out, you know. Is that why most people waste the tinder boxes thinking, oh, I'm going to find some more in the corner, and then they can't find any more for the rest of the game. I love how some people do that. It's funny. Boxes seem to be more plentiful than oil, though. I love how the music in here is all peaceful. You missed it, but my co-host was lifting his hands over his head like he was worshipping an unseen deity or milking the giant cow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, depends on what kind of cow we're talking about, you know what I'm saying. I'll milk some udders if you know what I'm saying. Too much? Three minutes and we switch. I mean, not we switch. Then. Yeah. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? I will say that, like I said, this is not the game that you sit down and play for a long period of time. Yeah. You can't. You go completely. You, you fucking July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Yeah, I think we both know what happened to him. Oh, oil. It's whatever currently is after us got him. Not necessarily. That's what I'm going with. No, well, that's a good. That, you know what? <coughs> we'll find out. Uh, did you check everything in that room? Because I don't think you did. This, which I'll just break if I pick it up. No, oh, because you didn't check the other drawer. The open drawer you didn't check. Oh, you didn't check any of that shit, actually. Doesn't mean they're not shit in there. See? See? Told you to check it. That can come in handy later. Alright, I think we're gonna end it here. Yeah, probably. Let's finish. Let's examine the other room first. Maybe. Although I have a bad feeling about this. Open the uh, the the dress, the giant. You have a bad feeling about this. You want to end it here? Sure. <laughs> Let's end it here. All right, everyone. This has been your first <laughs> episode of Amnesia: The Dark Descent into into hell. Right no, apparently. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll give you an opinion of this. So what do you think of it so far? The freaky is... Oh, get out. I'll tell you that. What about you? Uh, this is about where I left. Uh, this is about where I stopped playing at. So maybe I was, you know, lying when I said I only played maybe half an hour of it. But, uh, yeah. Let's, let's save and quit so we don't have to worry about things trying to kill us. But, uh, I mean, I think it's a fun game. But then I'm kind of crazy anyway. I thought I was... I wouldn't say fun, but it's definitely... Interesting? Yeah. So that'll uh, that'll end it for this this part of Amnesia: Dark Descent. We uh we hope you enjoyed it. We hope, well, uh, we secretly hope you got the shit scared out of your mind. <laughs> it is a Halloween special, so that's why we open. That's why we did this one. This and the one that is now do, lost to time. We do apologize that our Until Dawn one was not saved due to user error. We will be replaying we will that. probably end up replaying it. And we'll try to do as much the same as we did. With, with one exception. With one exception. One, exception. one pervy exception on my co-host part. 
<laughs> but yeah. Uh, so that'll that's uh, Amnesia Dark Descent for you. We'll uh, we'll play it again later. Not today. By later, I mean at some later date, just for clarification. We wow. uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Probably got shit scared out of you. We will see you later. Peace out. Bye.